Welcome to Detox Rock Fest, day two, here with Wadi of the Exploited. Well, I'm glad to be here. Oh, we, came here we came here last year. We got, we got in last year, eh? We were totally really surprised. And uh, I was really surprised. Even this time, uh, we got pulled at the customs. But like, but they were, but they were dead friendly, they were okay. The customs learned from the last time. Yeah, they learned! Yeah, the last time, thank you. Because <laughs> customs was the reason why, because you remember that riot so, 10 years what I, ago. What happened was, uh, we had, we had visas for Canada, but our, our tour bus, uh, the driver, he was on a. Uh, if you if you drove so many miles, you got paid extra, or if you, if you took or you got paid by the hour, okay. so he would drive slow. So we went to go to Seattle to get our visas, but by the time we got there, it was shut. So we so we came so we tried to come over as a tourist. Uh, Twenty two of us, <laughs> we tour on weekends for Norway, England, Scotland. And they said, uh, how do you know each other, I mean? At gigs. And they said, nah. And then uh, they pulled up a picture from, uh, we, played in Toronto, uh, we played in Canada six weeks before. They pulled a picture of me on stage and goes, is that you? And I went, yeah, karaoke night. He was in a band two years. And it was great, we were, we, were, we were at the customs for 10 hours. 10 hours, 10 fucking hours. And then uh, we were driving back to the airport on the, and on CNN, every 20 minutes, it show you the riots. It's fucking brilliant. And uh, some guy from uh, some guy put a footage of all the all the all the riots from the news, and he put he put it to one of our songs, and it's fucking brilliant. It's better than better than what our video we done was. <laughs> See, so it's appreciated. Have you have you heard what's been happening in Montreal now with student I had, protests? I had I had the, the, the crackdown. Well. The students started protesting because they're trying to raise the cost of schooling for all of them and they don't think that's okay, which, right. you know, I mean, the government should subsidize, but now we're over like 115 days of non-stop protests. I've never heard that. Do you have anything that you would say to encourage the students that are fighting for what they want? Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Fucking the government, the government in the, in, the U, in the UK, they try to take away all your rights. They take away your right to protest. And I don't know so much about Canada, like, like what you're saying. I don't know so much about that. But in the UK, they try to take away all your rights, and you, you can't you can't be part of a group to to protest. That's it. You, it's fucking bollocks. Fuck them. So you heard Fuck it them. first, right here. Yeah. Unless you're American, then you can't. You can, you can say what you want, but just don't say it if we don't like to hear what you want to say. Yeah. Fucking. So remember that. Yeah. But actually, here's a question. Yeah. Anything new on the way from the exploited? Yeah. Well, a new album will be coming soon. But we said that seven years ago. But no, we have. We've been, write, we've been writing on songs. I've got a lot of good songs. I just need to fix the lyrics. Hope, hopefully, we'll, but we'll have it done. But before the years out, we'll have a. We've got a lot. We've got a lot of good songs. Well, we still got over like 30 years of classics that we can look forward to tonight. So I guess we can hold off a little bit longer. Yeah, well, it's been a long time. We told the record company seven years ago. Yeah, we've got 10 songs, and we'll be ready to have the album soon. That was eight years ago. <laughs> 2003 was the last. But, one. Something like that, yeah. But the best true, we did have songs, but we're still working on them. Well, the best work takes the most time, right? It does. Well, every, but to be seriously, uh, uh, everything we do, everything uh, we do with Exploited is going to be 100 percent fucking. It's going to be really good. Every song is going to be 100 percent gig, and uh, that's how we work. We've, we've written, we've written like fucking hundreds of songs, and but see, that's good, but it's no good, no good enough for Exploited. But we've got like we've got fucking. We've got 10 or 11 really good, really good songs. I just need to, I just need another two and, and, to, and to, write, to write some more lyrics. So I'm gonna, we're gonna have to keep our ear to the ground to hear this well, stuff you know, coming. Got, it's like, I, I don't, I don't go about seeing the exploit the great or whatever. But I never do anything, I never do anything unless it's 100% fucking the best it can be. And that, and when it's, when it's, when I'm happy with it all, then, we'll, then we'll put it out. How do you guys settle the uh, the disputes when it comes to the final edit of the of the music? Does anything end up in fist fights ever? Uh, they normally they leave. Every time we do an album, someone leaves. Does that tell you something? <laughs> well, you know what? You guys are still around, and that means it's still working. No, so that's, we do it because we believe in it. I do it. I do it because I believe in it. I'm not a very easy. I'm nice. I'm nice. I'm nice I'm, I might, might look quite nice and cuddly right now, but I'm not a nice person when it comes to. Uh, my, my beliefs and the music. I, I, if anyone comes to the band, I expect 100% fucking effort. Don't have to be the best musician because I can't sing, but I do. I do, give, I do the best I can. To me, to me, to me, to me, to me, to me, that's punk. That's what punk is to me. If I, 
If I, if, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter if you, what you do in life. If you, if you, if you enjoy what you do, fucking, it doesn't matter if anyone says your shit. If you enjoy what you do, that's all that matters. It doesn't matter what anybody other kind of thinks. And it's been, it's been exploited. Before the people come in the band, I, just, I expect 100% effort and to enjoy it and believe in what they do. And if they do that, then, then, they can, they can, then they'll be okay. They go ahead and have all the yeah. fun you want. Yeah. How are you liking the camping scene back here? It's pretty good, man. I, my, my brother, my brother drum, he, he goes camping in Scotland all the time. I don't go camping because there's too many flies and midgets. But do you have any advice for all the campers that are staying here over the weekend? Yeah. Bring a, get an Xbox, it can go on batteries. And then they'll, then they'll go camping. <laughs> so Xbox with batteries, so you heard it here. At 2012, Detox Rock Fest, Monty Bello, Wadi, The Exploited, Rocket Media. Yeah, yeah fuck all the other cunts. Sorry Who's real? Sorry. Who do you know that's real? That's true. Uh, uh, the subs, Charlie Harper, the UK subs. UK the, subs? Charlie Harper, to me, he's the godfather of punk. He's like the only guy I've met in bands before us 30 years ago that's a true person, really true person. Uh, fucking, and GBH. Like they're the other band, British band that have been like they've been true to their roots, they're, and they're good, and they're good people. They're no they're no sh they're no shit people. Uh, like for the Crow Mags, he's a good guy. I, I like Terra, I like Guar, they're good guys. You're excited to see Guar today? Yeah, we played. Yeah, no, like the only two bands I the only two bands I, 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 I wanted to see what was uh, Terra and Guar because I've seen them before. I played them before. They're both both great bands. Guar oh. are fucking awesome. That's right. Like the addicts, the fucking all these other shit British bands are shit. Green Day, Henry Rollins, fucking who else? Fucking the wanker. Jello Biafra, Jello Biafra, faggot. Henry Rollins, fucking wanker. Henry Rollins. Total. I'm looking at tell loads of true stories about these cunts. They're all fucking. They're all like two-faced cunts. All these cunts, they, they say things and preach things, but they're all two-faced. They're like a lot of things they say are just total lies. And I only, only, only talk. It's that only stage talk, uh, phase. I only, only, only deal with facts. Yeah, I'll say what I think. Even if, even if, even if, even if I don't agree, I always say what I think.